The Sandbox is by far the most popular and promising metaverse, and because of this, it has established a lot of partnerships with several popular brands. Now we've signed some partnership deals with major partners from Hong Kong, and with the purpose of building a new mega city. Welcome to Flores Online Explains, the metaverse education platform. Subscribe to my channel for all information, explanations, and tips on the metaverse. Don't forget to press the like button and the notification bell. In January 2022, The Sandbox, a leading decentralized gaming virtual world and a subsidiary of Animoca Brands announced that it has added multiple Hong Kong partners for the film, music, entertainment, acting, professional services, finance and gaming sectors to create Mega City, a new cultural hub. Mega City will focus on gaming as well as real estate, acting and professional services. Stick around till the end of the video as we explore what this partnership could mean for the future of The Sandbox Metaverse. A few of the new brands Brands included in this new deal are Ocean Park, Standard Chartered, Regal Hotels Group, Tatler Asia, Brink, Mad World, Cord Hero, Time Gates of Hong Kong, Pop Culture, and UFO School. Newland Sale was launched on 28th April 2022 to celebrate these collaborations and allow players to purchase lands and join the Mega City. After the success of Mega City 1, Animoca Brands claimed that it plans to expand the cultural hub into its second phase by bringing the city's best and brightest. For example, Ocean Park, one of Asia's most dynamic leisure and resort locations, will be developing immersive experiences, events, and goods in never-before-seen formats as a bonus. It will bring to life brand new virtual gaming experiences that will allow fans to go back and revisit attractions that have been decommissioned. Meta Green, the first green metropolis in the sandbox metaverse, was also announced by Regal Hotels Group, one of Hong Kong's leading hotel operators. Meta Green's goal is to inspire individuals to reduce their carbon footprint to zero by the year 2050 by providing incentives for them to engage in environmentally friendly behaviors and green consumption choices in their day-to-day -day lives. NFT assets will be used as prizes to engage the sandbox users in this environment, edutainment model, through immersive play-to-earn experiences that establish a bridge between virtual gaming and the real world. One of Metagreen's six distinct and interactive districts will be a futuristic net zero hotel and residence showcasing the latest sustainable prop tech, a metaverse convention center with an on-site bank and retail stores. Metagreen will also feature an online classroom with an environment curriculum designed by universities as well as online to offline biospheres activities and a green gallery. Due to the fact that the sandbox is now migrating to the Polygon blockchain, Metagreen Green has been chosen to collaborate with the platform because of its carbon offset pledges. Meta Green has also already purchased more than twice as many carbon credits as it needs to reverse the Ethereum emissions it has already generated. Tatler Asia, a luxury media conglomerate, will help shape the future of luxury in the sandbox by collaborating with the world's most famous brands to provide exclusive experiences. Both the sandbox, featuring the first ever metaverse ball in cooperation with M Plus Museum, and the Gen T Summit, a gathering of young Asian leaders who are defining Asia's future will benefit from Tatler's experience at the Sandbox. Standard Chartered is also using Web3 technologies to create new metaverse experience for its customers and the community at large. They are doing this with their partners and clients the SE Ventures, Fintech Bridge Network, and the other stakeholders including the bank's own team. For primary schools, kindergartners, parents, and children in Hong Kong and China, EVI Services Limited, that's EVI, an education and information technology corporation founded in Hong Kong that offers support for learning and teaching in physical classrooms and online platforms, has announced that an educational and entertainment metaverse hub will be built in the sandbox with the help of Metaverse Entertainment Limited, a corporation that specializes in film creation distribution and artist management. With a virtual library, an exhibition hall for digital art, and works by participants, habitats for school and student competitions, an occupational role-playing game, and a virtual art gallery. Evil Land will provide instructive and exciting experiences for its participants. Metaverse Entertainment Limited plans to deliver immersive entertainment experiences to Evil Land by bringing Metaverse Cinema, concerts, and innovative games to the region. Game One, a reputable Hong Kong-based game developer and publisher with a long history of successful games, is another serious partner. Games from Game One will be bought into the sandbox, creating a metaverse called Game One City. The innovation center for Mega City 2, Game One City, will have a modern Hong Kong pavilion, Wuxia Costume City, and ACG Sci-Fi Paradise. Game One City will offer a new vision of fantasy adventure that extends from the ancient world to the future. 
UFO Schools is an IT academy and stream education provider that is a subsidiary of the HKEX listed education firm. UFO School is introducing the groundbreaking Learn to Earn concept in education, which will be launched in the sandbox as the metaverse era approaches. In the sandbox, UFO School will gamify its masterclass programs in music, arts, STEAM, design, and IT, which will be taught by internationally recognized instructors as they learn, enrolled students, and will receive tokens or NFTs. They will also receive certificates in the form of NFTs encoded with the smart contract upon graduation. Graduates, outstanding work in the form of digital assets will be displayed in a Hall of Fame gallery inside the sandbox. The UFO school will also provide training for talented individuals interested in becoming creators or architects within the sandbox. The Learn to Earn model enables students to convert their vocational skills to provide service to landowners. UFO School will also host virtual events, art exhibitions, concerts and ceremonies in the sandbox in collaboration with local school partners. Sebastian Borget, co-founder and COO of The Sandbox said that The Sandbox new partners will provide some of the best of what makes Hong Kong a multicultural vibrant city while embracing the company's creative goal of developing an open metaverse. Through the Sandbox platform, they are reinventing themselves and innovating to provide unique virtual experiences. Animoca Brands describes the Sandbox as a continuous shared digital space where worlds and heroes combine to produce magic, a hybrid of virtual real estate and amusement parks. The Sandbox has partnered with over 200 companies to establish an open platform for gamers to own, create, and monetize their own games. As a result of the game's play and earn features, players can trade, transfer, and resell the items they gather. A wave of various new game experiences are under development for The Sandbox's Alpha 2 season and beyond following its successful launch. In advance of the platform's formal debut, there are now over 2.7 million registered users, indicating great global interest. What do you think about this new development? Let me know in the comments section. Thank you for taking the time to watch and I hope you've learned a thing or two. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so you never miss an update. I really hope to see you again. Continue learning about crypto, NFT and the metaverse.